Imagine this. Imagine me. Pick up a gun, right? Bust two shots in your son, right? Take away his cell phone. Take away his money. Pocket his money. Use his cell phone, scroll through, see where it says mom. Call his mom and tell her, hey, your son has been killed. Your son is dead. Hang up the phone, walk away about my business, leave you there laying on the ground. And then come back when I feel like you're dead. Throw you in the back of a vehicle like you're a piece of slaughtered meat and drive you off to the hospital. Right? What this cop did not count on was the fact that this guy that he threw in there was still breathing. If he really wanted to commit murder, he should have checked for vitals. But he didn't check. Okay? And this youth was able to give an account of what happened to him. And the account that he gave correlated with the story of another police officer that was on the scene that was actually a rookie in training. Come up and talk about it. Because today we're going to talk about dirty, rogue police officers in the JCF. And there are more of these that need to be weeded out. But one of them get 35 years like Vibes Cartel. One of them get 35 years like Vibes Cartel. Alright, so the story goes. And I'm going to put my own spin on it as usual. And I can tell you where I'm sourcing the story from. It's from the loop. The story goes like this. The story says that a police constable implicated in the murder of a Clarendon vendor over three years ago was on Friday morning sentenced to life imprisonment in the home circuit court. The cop name was Constable Riquito Graham of Gale St. Mary. Was found guilty by seven member jury in the St. and Circuit Court on Wednesday, June 7th. Graham was sentenced by Justice Glenn Brown who ordered that he serve 35 years in prison before being eligible for parole. And I said he got 35 years like Vibes Cartel because that is exactly how they handed down Vibes Cartel's sentence. He was sentenced to 35 years before he is eligible for parole. Right? It was initially reported that Hill was shot during a confrontation. Hill is the name of the youth was shot during a confrontation with the police officer at 4.30 a.m. on Friday, July 12th on Wesley Crescent in Brownstown in St. Anne. He succumbed to his injuries in a hospital on Sunday the 14th, two days after, but not before telling how he had been shot by the cop. Graham's defense was that Hill was armed. This is, this is, this is what the police told this is in the police report. This is his defense, his reason for murdering the youth. Him did have a knife and he was trying to slash my throat while I was trying to apprehend him. The prosecution relied heavily on evidence from another police officer who was at the time on training when Hill was shot. So, like I've said before on SoFlo TV, this is a double-edged sword because... We know. Men are like the Jamaican them that are in denial and I talk about, yeah man, as soon as, as soon as anything happens with crime, we run to the police, but we are the same one. We are beat and bash them, leave them, make them do them job. No. We know that the JCF is deeply corrupted. There are police officers in there that are dirty as hell, right? But I've always balanced that scale when I say that by saying that there are police officers in there and that, that, that wake up every day, put their life on the line, genuinely go out there to do their work, to protect and to serve. And we cannot mix up and dash out the baby with the bath water. You understand? So, but it's very hard to decipher who is who. In this case, the story of the youth that got shot and he died two days later correlated with the story of the police officer in training, the rookie, that was riding with this veteran cop that committed the murder. And he was able to be sentenced to 35 years based on these stories correlating. So big up to that rookie there. But if you notice people, is a rookie. So the rookie was not seasoned enough and deep enough into the brotherhood. 
to where them can say, yo, shut your mouth, don't say nothing. I saw we run things, right? All right. The cop testified, listen, the prosecution relied on the evidence from the, another police officer who was at the time on training when Hill was shot. The cop testified that he saw Hill with no knife. Remember, you know, the police officer that killed him said he had a knife and he was trying to slash my throat. Imagine that, and you're the veteran cop and you have a training cop beside you, and the training cop said, mm-mm, me not lie. Me never see him with no knife. Don't sink me with your brother. Me never see him with no knife. On the morning in question, and that, he also testified that it was while he was held that Hill heard a loud explosion. So it was while he was already handcuffed, or it was while he was holding him, that he heard an explosion. Mean him shot him, that's all. Gunshot went off. He testified that he later let Hill out of his grasp and Hill fell. Oh, so it was the rookie cop that was holding him. And the veteran cop shot him while the rookie cop was holding him. You could all shoot the, you could all shoot the other cop, the rookie cop. Big bad and bravey. Murder the people and pick me just like this, see? Hmm. Testified that he later let him out of his grasp and he said that Graham told him to shoot him also But he said he was afraid See it? So the police me holding on to the guy now I'm on training and here's my supervising officer at the time Bust a shot in at the youth that I'm holding Me let him go Him drop Right? He's telling me to shoot him too I'm saying, no, me can't do it. Me, why? Me, him, not, him not do nothing. What? Me, me afraid. That was the testimony that stood up in court. Hmm. It was also heard at the trial that when Hill gave, when Hill arrived at the hospital, he reportedly gave his account of the incident to the doctor. Wow. So, the youth, the doctor account, was that Hill told him that he had been shot by the officer after being questioned for some crime. The doctor said Hill told him that the police had taken his phone and his cash and then called his mother to inform her that he was dead. Rude, rank, fiesty, out of order, evil, dirty. Yo. The doctor said Hill told him that the police had taken his phone and his cash up and called him mother to inform her that he was dead. That's why I started off the video by saying, imagine me take a gun, because I'm in uniform. My question is son like a bit, boss a shot in him, bam. Boss a next shot, bam. Take away his cell phone, take away his money. While you there bleeding out, look like you're dead to me. Scroll through your phone, pocket your money, find the word, find where it says mom. Hello? Yes, is this the mother of Fabian Hill? Yes, it is. What happened? Well, ma'am, your son has been um, shot and he is dead. Your fuck. He wasn't even pronounced dead by... Like, police officers are not equipped to pronounce nobody dead. You have to be pronounced dead by a medical individual, which more than likely would be a doctor or a nurse, a registered nurse or a doctor, preferably a doctor, right? But him done call the youth mother. Big violation already. On the scene, call the youth mother to tell her about our son dead. The uh, one officer told him to lie down. But Hill said he refused and was then shot twice. So the other officer was afraid. Must have said, you lay down after the first shot. Lay down. Because he must have catch him afraid as an officer and saying, Ross, the next police will kill him, you know. Can him even tell me if you shoot him already? And I said, no. Him itch upon the trigger. Look, him holding the gun still at him like he want to kill him. Lay down. He lay down. He didn't lay down. Because gunshot fly up in you. You must think so you can take orders then. Like, okay, I'm calm. Cool and collected. This gunshot bouncing around in my body. But it's okay. I'm just going to lay down. The youth probably panicking. So he went. He did. He, according to what he told the doctor before he died. He was told by an officer to lay down. He refused. 
And that's when he was shot again. He was shot twice. Bam! Second shot. He told the doctor that he held his breath, this time laid down and pretended to be dead. While the officer left him there and came back and then placed him in the van. So you shoot the youth, call him mother, tell her you take it upon yourself to pronounce him dead. Leave him there with no medical attention, which again is another big violation. But we all know that this is something that they do. Boom, boom, gunshot, walk around, talk, 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 make you bleed out, make the gunshot move around, you wiggle up, gunshot move around, tear up all kinds of things inside of the victim, and then they come back, sure say you're dead now, or we're going to drive so slow to get to medical attention that by the time we get there, your story, dead man tell no tales, right? And it's a practiced form of art that they do. So the youth was able to account for all that. Him get shot, him hold him breath. Him, I, I could imagine he was probably breathing shallow anyways. While the officer dash him on the back of the vehicle after him come back, after he left him, didn't say how long he left him for because he was blacking in and out, couldn't remember. However, the doctor said that Hill did not remember what transpired later as he only remembers after that waking up in the hospital. Hill died two days later from his gunshot wounds. Rest in peace, Hill, and yes, some form of justice has been served for you and your family, my friend. So for TV audience, like, comment, share, subscribe. Leave your comment in the comment section below. Let me know what you think about this. I want you to think deeply also. This could have been your son, your brother, your father, okay? Your cousin, your nephew, them kind of something there. Think closely because every time we, every time we ignore things like these when they happen, what happens is it happens again and again and again and again. And that's what we're trying to prevent. It's SoFlow TV, man. I'm up out of here. Peace.